Yesterday, the hedge fund elite came together to talk investment ideas at the annual Ira Sohn Research Conference. Our Margaret Popper was there. And Margaret, there were some interesting takes on the economy that came out of the conference. You are right, Mark. The one that I think really shocked people, you could hear the electricity going through the room as he was talking, was David Sokol, who is at Mid-American Energy Holdings. Now, you may not recognize that name, but this is part of the empire of Berkshire Hathaway. And Sokol is, in fact, one of the guys who is purported to be a potential successor to Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha. So this is a guy that everybody really wanted to hear and was really listening to. The company is called Allied Capital. I believe Allied is a good short idea. The bonds are still rated AAA. They don't believe that they will have any permanent loss and there's no liquid market to value these bonds. I responded, liar, liar, pants on fire. The insurance subsidiaries, we believe, are effectively insolvent. We're sure both MBIA and AMBEC, if, they, if they're wrong by 2%, they're toast. If you're at MBIA, we've seen actual outright fraud. The company settled a fraud investigation recently. Presently, Greenlight is short Lehman. My hope is that Mr. Cox and Mr. Bernanke and Mr. Paulson will pay heed to the risks to the financial system that Lehman is creating and that they will guide Lehman toward a recapitalization and recognition of its losses, hopefully before the federal taxpayer assistance is required. I'm Karen Feinerman, and every once in a while, Wall Street gets a chance to give back. And I don't just mean in a 2008 kind of way. The Iris Zone Investment Research Conference gathers the best and the brightest minds on Wall Street. It's basically a Woodstock for value investors. My wife and I, as Doug mentioned, lost our son 10 years ago after three years of lymphoma. and. Uh, uh, it is a club that nobody should be a member of, and uh, so we really uh, are honored to be here and uh, have enormous regard for the Sohn family and for all the contributions you all represent to, uh, to help young children uh, dealing with uh, very serious adversity. My 15-year-old son, Matthew, was a real hero battling leukemia for seven years. Uh, he's been great for the past six years and is actually here in the audience today. Matt, stand up, please. I want to basically say to all the people that are participating here, and all the people that sponsor this and everything else, hats off to all of you. It's a terrific cause. I don't normally do this. I'd rather be trading. But when Tamar's children asked me to come, I couldn't say no. My dad was passing away and he looked at me and he said, son, you're going to run out of time, not money. We're going to donate 50% of the profits earned by the general partner, Kerry, on the, on the short sale of Allied Capital to Tomorrow's Children's Fund. While one could never explain the pain of losing a child, we are comforted knowing that through Iris passing, the conference has been able to touch so many lives in such a positive and productive fashion. As Iris' daughter and only child, it is my honor to be here to add my voice to urge your support for TCF. This is not about what you do in your life. But life is all about the great gift, big giveaway. It's a testimony to you all here today to show up and to be a part of this.